हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ टॉपिक ऑफ सेल बायोलॉजी एंड दैट इज नॉन इज द वैक्यूल नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वैक्यूल्स एंड इफ यू सी द एनिमल सेल इन द प्लांट सेल सो यू विल बी एबल टू सी स्मॉल वैक्यूल्स इन द केस ऑफ द एनिमल सेल इन द केस ऑफ द एनिमल सेल द वैक्यूल्स आर स्मॉल और दे आर एबसेंट बट इफ यू विल बी व्यूइंग अ प्लांट सेल आई हैव मेड अ प्लांट सेल इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू and if you view a plant cell you will be able to see that a big vacuole is present at the center and due to the presence of the big vacuole the vacuole occupy 90% volume of the cell but in the case of the plant cell the vacuoles are not big since the beginning basically in the young stages in the young cell condition what happens that many small vacuoles are present which later on combine together to form a big vacuole so all together we can say that in the case of the animal cell a small vacuole is present or the vacuoles are absent and in plant cell a big vacuole is present now see here due to the formation of the big vacuole in the plant cell what happens the cytoplasm and nucleus are shifted at the periphery you can see in the diagram that due to the formation of a big vacuole as we have said that vacuole is occupying 90% area of the cell so due to the formation of the vacuole the nucleus and the cytoplasm the nucleus and the cytoplasm are shifted towards the periphery and this peripheral cytoplasm this peripheral cytoplasm is called as what the primordial uticle it is very important it is asked in the medical entrance examination that what do you mean by the primordial uticle primordial uticle is nothing it is the peripheral cytoplasm now the question arises that this vacuole this vacuole is surrounded by a membrane what type of the membrane is actually surrounding the vacuole so you must know that vacuole is surrounded by vacuole is surrounded by a differentially permeable membrane it is surrounded by a differentially permeable membrane and that membrane is called as the tonoplast membrane so you must remember this name the vacuole is surrounded by tonoplast membrane at least two to three times it is asked in the medical entrance examination that vacuole is surrounded by which membrane so vacuole is surrounded by a lipoprotein membrane and that lipoprotein membrane is called as tonoplast membrane and it is differentially permeable membrane it is having the nature similar to the cell membrane now the question arises that what is the role of the tonoplast membrane it actually facilitates the transport of the number of the ions it is helpful for the transportation of the number of the ions against the concentration gradient into the vacuole okay so this is the main role that it facilitates the transport of the ions against the concentration gradient inside the vacuole right so the vacuole is surrounded by a tonoplast membrane which is a differentially permeable membrane and it is important for maintaining the osmotic gradient now you must remember this thing that the vacuole is actually not a air filled cavity basically vacuole is filled with cell sap you can also call it as vacuolar sap okay so the vacuole is not a air filled cavity it is filled with cell sap or i can say that it is also called as the vacuolar sap and the chief ingredient and the chief ingredient of the cell sap are the water it consists of water in too much quantity it also consists of the excretory products not only the excretory products it contains the uh, cellular waste right it contains sugars it contains the salts it contains the organic acids it contains many alkaloids right and also the pigments also also pigments there are many pigments okay so the cell sap is consisting of these following uh, ingredients okay now the question arises that what is the prime role of this cell sap which is filled in the vacuole so the the, the vacuolar cell sap or the vacuolar sap is actually important for maintaining the turgidity now the question arises that how the cell sap maintains the turgidity so you must know that the cell sap is having the concentration 
uh, that is known as the osmotic pressure it is having more osmotic pressure okay now the rule says that uh, always the water moves from the low osmotic pressure to the high osmotic pressure so if i am saying that if here the osmotic pressure is high and if the cell is capped in a medium where the op is low okay so then the rule says that water always moves from low op to high op so if a cell is capped in a medium which is having low op so the water will be moving from the medium inside the cell sap okay and due to which what will happen the uh, vacuole uh, will show turgidity the vacuole will show turgidity now you must also know that certain pigments certain pigments are also found in the cell sap and there are two important type of the pigments one is known as the anthocyanin and another i am writing here and that is known as anthochlor another pigment is called as anthochlor okay two type of the pigments i will be discussing here okay the one is known as the anthocyanin now again it is very important in 2016 17 also in the neat examination right which was held this question was asked that which pigment is found in the vacuolar sap or the cell sap so you must know that it is a anthocyanin pigment okay and it actually gives anthocyanin gives purple color or the red color now many times this question is asked that when it gives the red color when it gives the blue color when it gives the violet or the purple color so it must be very much clear that anthocyanin pigment anthocyanin pigment at acidic ph anthocyanin pigment at acidic ph gives red color okay now this pigment anthocyanin pigment at alkali alkaline ph or the alkali ph it gives the blue color and at the neutral ph at the neutral ph it gives the violet and the purple color okay so at different ph at different ph it gives different colors so the main pigment which is found in the cell sap or the vacuolar sap is the anthocyanin one more pigment is present one more pigment is present and that is known as the anthochlor one more pigment is present in the cell sap and that is known as what the anthochlor and this this anthochlor is what yellow colored pigment this anthochlor is what yellow color pigment okay this is a yellow color pigment right and you must know that these pigments these pigments which are found in the vacuole especially the anthocyanin pigment which is found in the vacuole is a water soluble pigment it is a water soluble pigment okay so uh, this was all about what the vacuole and vacuoles are important for osmoregulation okay vacuoles are important for osmoregulation they are also maintaining the osmotic gradient they are sometimes meant for the storage of the excretory substances and all so these are the prime roles of the vacuole right we must also know we must also know about two more kinds of the vacuoles which are found in different organisms i have written here one is known as the contractile vacuole and another is known as what the food vacuole so there are many lower organisms there are many lower organism which consist of contractile vacuole and the food vacuoles now the contractile vacuole is actually found in the amoeba the most common example is the amoeba which consists of the contractile vacuole and this contractile vacuole is helping in the excretion and the osmoregulation as just now i have said that this vacuoles are important for osmoregulation how so i can say that in the case of the amoeba contractile vacuole is present and this contractile vacuole found in the amoeba is very important for the excretion as well as the osmo regulation okay now the food vacuole the food vacuole the another is known as the food vacuole there are many protist organism there are many protist okay right in which what happens that as they engulf the food as they engulf the food so what happens a vacuole is formed in them because of the engulfing of the food particles a vacuole is formed in them and this vacuole is called as what this vacuole is called as the food vacuole so you must also know about the contractile vacuole and the food vacuole also you must remember one thing that this cell sap is acidic cell sap is acidic at maturity cell sap is 
एसिडिक एट मेच्योरिटी रिमेंबर दिस थिंग दैट सेल सेप इज नॉट एसिडिक राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग इन द बिगनिंग द सेल सेप इज बेसिकली वॉट इट इज एल्कलाइन इट इज एल्कलाइन इन नेचर बट एज वी हैव सेड दैट सेल सेप कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनी ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स एंड ऑल एंड दैट मेक्स द सेल सेप एसिडिक सो यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस थिंग दैट इन द यंग स्टेजेस इन द यंग स्टेजेस द सेल सेप इज नॉट एसिडिक इट इज बेसिकली न्यूट्रल इट्स बेसिकली न्यूट्रल ओके आई विल से इनफैक्ट राधर देन बेसिक आई विल से इट इज न्यूट्रल बट एट द मेच्योरिटी इट बिकम्स एसिडिक ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द वैक्यूल विच आर एक्चुअली प्रजेंट इन अ लार्ज साइज इन द प्लांट सेल एंड दे आर प्रजेंट इन वेरी स्मॉल साइज इन द एनिमल सेल ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द वैक्यूल थैंक्स अ लॉट कीप वॉचिंग माई वीडियो थैंक यू Thank mm-hmm. you.